to the UPA chopper scam now where a huge political fight has broken out after Times Now's expose on the Augusta Westland deal. The Congress completely on the back foot after papers with Times Now revealed that national security had been compromised and that the Indian Air Force was breached. The issue is that he told a lie, which all his party people are recycling that lie, that they had blacklisted Finn Mechanica and that we had, uh, you know, uh, uh, withdrawn that. That's a blatant lie. I went through the defense ministry records which I've made public and I have made extracts of it and given it to the chairman, which clearly shows that the first time this matter was dealt with was by the, uh, B uh, the new BJP government on the 3rd of July of 2014 when they said that we are suspending all uh, actions of the uh, of Ministry of Defense in making purchases from Finnmark you know, till the court decides the matter. Now, on that basis, they also said if there are some spare parts which are on the way, or some which, uh, you know, some uh, uh, important parts of the uh, 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 helicopters are on the way, those we will not uh, block. Only new purchases we will not allow. That did not apply to private sector buying from Finn Mechanica or Mr. Tata making a deal with them. So, to say that, uh, that they first blacklisted is a lie because Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad was a member of the cabinet, he must should know that very well. And two, that uh, to say that we withdrew it, that's an even bigger lie. So I want uh, either Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad to apologize or uh, the, the breach of privilege committee uh, passes a censure, some punishment on him. We are in favor of the fact that the, 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 the truth must come out. And the most interesting feature that has emerged out of this debate of the last few days, primarily put forward by Times now, which deserves to be complimented, is that the more they say there is nothing to hide, the more people tend to believe that they have something to hide. So I think it's high time they must come out and allow the truth to prevail. So, you know, also for the fact that you have been saying that there will be a debate and discussion over this issue, but are you getting that sense that probably there could be a debate uh, on this issue and, uh, you know, and that all the facts and figures could be put out in the open probably in the first week of May? No, you must have noticed that time and again the government has been reiterating that we are ready for debate. Not only on this subject but any other subject, including the Augusta subject. But somehow now it appears that the opposition itself is trying to shy away from the debate, which is quite uh, quite ironic because if they claim that they are innocent, they should rather see this as a golden opportunity to prove their innocence by way of a discussion. So just my last question, the Congress party is accusing that it is a, uh, it's an uh, attempt to defame the Congress leadership. In fact, we have shown financial scam, we have shown a breach of national security, we have seen the manner in which Augusta Whistlin had li literally furnished uh, false data to the MOD and it was not even verified. But the Congress saying that it's a, only an attempt to malign the image of Congress senior leadership. Malign the image by whom? Is this the Times now that is maligning their image? Is this the government that is maligning their image? Is this the parliament that is maligning their image? And if so, why don't they come forward and engage themselves in a free frank discussion and vindicate themselves? I think it is they who should be asking for a discussion. My take is very simple. When their defense minister, Mr. Anthony, publicly said in the parliament, it is a case of corruption. Money has changed hands. Bribe has been taken. What follow-up action was taken by them? Obviously, as I understand, the preliminary CBI inquiry was ordered on the 12th of February. And the next day, Christian Michael elopes. He was in India. It reminds me of Mr. Kotroki in the 90s. The middleman in the Beaufort's case. He also left the next day there was a court order. हम भी लगाए हैं लेकिन बार-बार जीरो और में कल स्पीकर उठाए तो स्पीकर ने उनको अलाउ कर दिया तो ये ऐसा है चुनाव के वक्त कांग्रेस पार्टी को डिफेम करने के लिए हमारे कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष को डिफेम करने के लिए हमारे पार्टी को बदनाम करने के लिए ये सब साजिश चल रही है 
और इससे कोई फर्क पड़ने वाला नहीं है दो साल हो गए अगर वो चाहते तो सीबीआई इंक्वायरी करके वो नहीं ला सकते थे और सीबीआई इंक्वायरी चल रही आदमी भागता है और ये स्टेटमेंट देते हैं तो ये जो सब है ये उनके हाथी के जैसा है कहने का दिखाने का दात अलग है खाने के अलग है तो ये सब साजिश वो रच रहे हैं कि उन वे चाहते हैं कि कांग्रेस अगर खत्म हो गई तो वो निरंकुश अपना अधिकार इस देश में चला सकते हैं ये सब आरोप जो है ना आरोप सिर्फ एक जगह से आया है वो है इटली के कोर्ट से और वहां से सिर्फ आरोप नहीं आया है वहां से सबूत आया है प्रश्न ये नहीं है कि अभी कौन किया क्या नहीं किया प्रश्न ये है कि आपने चार साल पांच साल पहले क्या किया आपने कैसे हेलीकॉप्टर डील में खुली चोरी की कैसे आपने मिडलमैन को भागने दिया कितना 130 करोड़ रुपया तो वो खुद ले गया है कैसे जो एडवांस था अगस्ता में वो कभी वापस नहीं आया ये सब प्रश्न है कैसे सिग्नोरा गांधी का नाम इटली कोर्ट के जजमेंट में आया ये प्रश्न है